Hi, I'm Lewis Rossman with the Rossman Repair Group. I've been traveling around the country to these right to repair hearings, and there's two main pieces of criticism that I wanted to address while I was here today. The first is that this bill is a solution in search of a problem, that there isn't a problem. So I just wanted to contrast the way repair worked about 50 to 70 years ago to now. So 50 to 70 years ago, if you opened up the electronics in your house or an appliance, there'd be a schematic on it that says how it's put together. And if you needed parts, you could either contact the company that manufactured it, and even if they didn't make the product anymore, they would usually tell you where to get the parts. Fast forward to today. A few years ago, if I wanted to buy a charging chip, so let's say a MacBook laptop, I could buy that for 5 or $10, and then I can fix it. Now, in 2018, Apple released a different machine, and it uses almost the same charging chip. They changed one thing, the address that it speaks to the rest of the computer on. And I can't buy that chip. What they told Intersil, the company that makes it, only sell this chip to us. So when I contact any electronics reseller, they say, I'm sorry, we can't sell it to you. This means that rather than paying me to fix the machine or anybody else, your only option is to go to Apple and have this three or $4,000 device fixed by them for $1,500. Further, when they do that, they erase all of your data, and that's the only option. So when people say that this bill is a solution in search of a problem, I've had thousands of customers that want their data back that disagree. The way that I get this chip right now is I actually have to buy an iPhone battery charging case that costs $129 and has a battery, rip it apart, take that chip off because they use that same chip in a battery charging case, and then dispose of the battery as e-waste, which is a complete waste. The second is that there are many dangers involved if you have unauthorized people work on these products. And this reminds me of an AutoZone commercial that one of my employees is a mechanic. He showed it to me. It's called I Did It. It came out just last year. And it has about three or four different groups of people that are each working on a car. The most memorable to me is you have a mom and daughter team. They're lifting a car up on the jack, and they're trying to figure out how to do it for the first time in this AutoZone commercial, and they replace the brakes on it, and they're so excited when they finish. They just took a 4,000-pound hunk of metal that they don't know how it works and replaced the thing that allows it to stop when going 70 miles an hour, but we're telling people that they may break and destroy and terrible things will happen if they replace the battery in a phone, and that just it doesn't sound right to me. And uh, that's about it. I'm happy to answer any questions or concerns regarding the bill. Thank you very much. Questions for our guests? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you for joining us.